Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So first off, I'm so sorry if you hear some noises and stuff because Ella is eating a bone and Sigge is also eating a bone so it might be a little bit noisy but hopefully they are done eating soon and you won't be that annoyed. Anyway, in today's video I thought that I would dupe a palette that I really want to buy. So I duped it with some of my shadows in my or some of my single shadows in my collection. I really want to purchase the Violet Voss Flamingo palette and now that I'm recording this it launched yesterday. I don't know if it was a pre-sale or if it was the actual palette that launched yesterday but I didn't buy it because I am like, okay, now I need to slow down. So you guys already know this if you have seen my low buy video. So I thought I'm gonna distract myself and build my own palette. And this is what I came up with. I have also done a look that you will see throughout this video on this look with this palette. Keep in mind, the palette hasn't even launched yet. We haven't really seen the palette up close and personal. And we haven't really seen any swatches. So some of my shades that I have might be misses and some of the shades that I have might be completely off. So yeah, if you want to see which shades I have, then just please keep on watching. Just keep in mind, this video is just for fun. This is just a dupe video that... I don't know when you see this video because I am pre-recording they might have launched some new swatches or even a first review is up on YouTube I don't know but when I am recording this nothing is available I have only these um, the pictures to go on and I thought that this could be a little bit fun and yeah let's just start so the first shade I took is this one this is from Colourpop and this is their shade centerfold so this shade will dupe the first shade which which is the flamingo shade I have used this so much this is one of my favorite mattes from Colourpop I'm just gonna wipe these swatches off first wait so let's see we're gonna swatch it right here and as you can see, it's this beautiful summer shade that has a bit of red and peach in it. First off, before you start to complain, I am super bad at explaining shade names. So now, oh, now I have said that. But I love this shade. I have worn this as a crease color, but I have also worn it like a lid color when I have had like a full matte look. And I just love that. Next shade is a donut in the palette, but my shade is called savage and this shade is very how should i put this very glittery um it contains a lot of fallout so you have to be very careful with this but i have actually used this on my lid in conjunction with this shade which is the next shade in the palette mine is called come and get it from also color pop so I used Come and Get It and then a little bit of the shade Savage on top. Come and Get It is like a duochrome that has some golds in it and then some peach in it as well or some pink. I can see like this shade in the original palette is so much more pink. But I didn't have one that was that pink so I just went with it. Next shade is also from Colourpop. I have a lot of Colourpop shadows. This is the shade Fault Line. I think this was a shade from their newer collection. I'm not really sure. It looks like this. It's just a shimmery purple and it's really pretty but uh, yeah that's the first four. So this is the first row. So in the palette on the first shade on the second row we have a baby blue shade. I had this shade and this shade is called Lost and Found. This is not an exact shade of or the exact dupe of the shade in the original palette but i thought that this was close enough i'm gonna swatch it one more time just building it up it's really really beautiful and this is also for color pop if, if i forgot to say that next up we have the shade tiny tangerines and this is a shade that i love and have used a lot of times I know it might not show, but I just love this. Every time I see this, and I always think of pools. 
This is, by the way, also from ColourPop. It's like that pool blue shade. I hope that that makes any sense. But every time I see this, I have some shade. I don't really know which one it is, but there's one shade in my collection that is called Poolside. And I always think of this one. So I always think that this is called Poolside, but it's not. Next up, we have this beautiful shade. This is for sure the latest shade from the ColourPop collection when they, when they launched new singles. This is just stunning. This is called Formation. And I this is the shade that I'm wearing under my eyes. I love the, this shade. It's so creamy, so pigmented and well blended. Let me swatch it one more time. So pretty. And all of these shades just scream summer to me. Next up, we have a kind of watermelon shade. And I found this to be a little bit hard to dupe, but I found this shade. This is the shade Seize the Day, also from ColourPop. And this is the shade that I'm wearing on my outer corner as my matte shade or my yeah, the pink shade that you can see. It's pink, but it's not, yeah. It's not the watermelon shade that I really wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a little bit more between a mix of, of a pink and a red, but I think that this shade is really beautiful. This shade does swatch like crap, and you kind of have to build the shade up on your eyes as well, but it blends really nice. I'm just gonna build this up so you can see how beautiful the shade can look. Here it is, it's like a, well, it is maybe like a watermelon shade. I don't know, it's pink anyway. It's really pretty, and I think I went in four or five times with my fingers. So, as I said, this shade really needs some deepening up. Or it needs some building up, I mean. So now we're on to the third row and the first shade, and I realized that I don't have that many yellow shades. But this shade I do have, this is the shade Tiki from ColourPop. It swatches like this. It's like a true yellow shade. It's really pretty actually, but I need to purchase more yellow shades in singles because mama needs it. <laughs> Next up we have a gold and when we see this gold in my eyes, it looks like a true gold. But when I see, I have to take out a picture here, but when I see the swatches, it's so beautiful. It still has some yellowness to it. And to be honest, I could not find a gold shade in my collection with that undertone and that, you know. But I did find this one. This is Rascal from ColourPop. I have talked about this before, but this is really pretty. This is like the a mix between a gold and a pink. No, <laughs> a mix between a gold and a yellow. <laughs> So now we're coming to this shade. This is a true orange, and this is called Bratty from ColourPop. This is so beautiful. This is also from their latest collection. Look at this, so beautiful. And when you see all of these swatches, it just screams summer to me. Last shade of the third row is a, another yellow shade, but it's a little bit more peachy. So I didn't have an exact dupe, but this is the first shade that isn't from ColourPop. This is Shikari from Makeup Geek. As you can see, this is a bit more orange than this yellow that we swatched. Uh, the first yellow that we swatched. So now we're coming to the fourth row, and this is the first shade. This is like a shimmery baby blue shade, and I have the shade Bastline. Yeah, Bastline from ColourPop. This is like that pearl finish. It's not a shimmer and it's not a matte, and you will not get this to be as foiled, but it is a really pretty shade. Next shade is a corally shade, and I have this one, Making Moves from ColourPop. And this is so creamy. Do you see that? That's one swatch. Do I need to swatch it more to here? Next, I have an orange she shimmery shade, and this is so beautiful. This is called Chauffeur. And this is also from the new ColourPop collection, but I didn't know if I should get it or not, but I'm really happy that I did. I have it on my lid right here in between the pink and the other shimmers that I had right here, and it's just beautiful. You see that? Oh, it's so stunning. Really pretty. 
Last shade of this row is a baby pink or baby violet shade. I couldn't really see because it looks a little bit different in the pictures, but this is the shade that I choose, and this is the shade that I had as my crease color, and this shade is called Two to Mango. I thought that that shade is so cute. And it's like a pastel that you, you have to build up, but it was kind of fairly easy to build it up. Last row, guys. This is a baby pink with shimmers in it. I have it as my inner corner highlight. So pretty. This is the shade from Morphe, and this is called Wink for Pink. This is a very soft shade, so you cannot, like, dip your finger in this. You have to be a little bit more gentle with it. Let's see if we can swatch it. Yes, drag it out. Drag it out. So pretty. And now we have this shade. This is from Colourpop as well, and this is called Pinky Promise, which is a really pretty shade as well. This is a bit more burgundy, but yeah, it's it's cute. So I actually changed color. I had the shade Makeup Geek. <laughs> I had the shade Bitten from Makeup Geek in this palette, but I changed it. I have to say, like, this is a orangey brown, and I don't have a single like that. I have some browns in my collection as singles, but I don't have that many. So for me, this was really hard to dupe, so I took the closest shade that I could find. And this is a shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is called Sienna. And I will swatch it right here. We're getting a little bit space left. We don't have that much space left, I mean. Yeah, it's a warm brown. And then final shade is Corrupt from Makeup Geek, which is just a black. And here that shade is. Here we have all of the swatches. They are a bit crooked. And then here the palette is from first row to last row. I think this is a very beautiful mix of shades and even though I have this, I'm not saying that I won't purchase the Violet Voss palette because the Violet Voss pa palette is so beautiful and I might try it. I haven't decided yet. It kind of depends on what I want to get and what I want to buy and everything. So yeah, as I said, I haven't decided yet. We'll see, but I might get it. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos and thumb down if you don't like these types of videos. Uh, just so that helped me out a lot, just so I know what kind of videos you enjoy to, to watch. <laughs> to watch. Uh, yeah, but that was all for me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have a nice day. Bye!